Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we are told to draw the given views and complete the plan. Right? And what are the given views? We are talking about the front elevation and the plan. Right? What you can see up here is the front elevation and what you can see here is the plan. Now the question is the front elevation of what? And the plan of what we're talking about a cone and a cylinder this is what a cone looks like and this is what a cylinder looks like right this is what what a cylinder looks like now both of them are coming together the cone the cylinder is interpenetrating the cone in this manner just like you can see in the right hand side of the screen is interpenetrating the cone now, when they interpenetrate, the question asks that what? When these two cone and cylinder, when this cone and the cylinder comes together, we should do what? We should establish the joint line. Now, the joint line you're talking about is this line you're seeing here, right? We we'll call it the curve of intersection, or we we'll call it the interpenetrating arc. It ensure uniformity between the cone and the word cylinder right it brings about perfection between the cone and what the cylinder to make them one unit one component now this is the front elevation like i said earlier showing the cylinder interpenetrating the cone and both of them form a curve of intersection now the question now says that we should what draw the complete what complete plan now when you look at this cone from the top together with the cylinder that intersected don't forget that this particular cone it is truncated they have cut off the apex point right this is how the normal cone is like right and this is how the truncated cone looks like so they have truncated so truncated now since it is a cone is circular in nature this side this is a circular base this base you are seeing here as you can see in the figure this is a circular base here right and normally if we don't truncate it it will just be a point but since we have truncated it that part will cut will now be a circle just like you can see here now the curve of intersection this is how you see it on the plan now this side here is hidden because looking from the top you cannot see the bottom here similarly this side there is also hidden because looking from the top this cylinder is going to block the base of what of the cone so we cannot see this hidden what Hidden, and we cannot see this um, base of the cone that we are using hidden line. And looking at it from the top, also we are going to see a circle, right? Because it is not horizontal; it is slightly facing the top, the at the what the top, the surface. So we'll be seeing it more since it is partly to be forming what an elliptical what shape, because you are not seeing it fully. It is partly. Now, similarly. You can see that we're, after we've done that, this is the complete plan of what we have successfully drawn here. The same figure, but in different views. This is the front elevation. This is the what? Complete plan. Now we're not told we should draw the development of the cone, right? Now we know when the cylinder intersects the cone, it will leave a what? A cut surface here, which is what we can see here. That means development means you've cut it wide open and you spread it out. When you spread it out, all this you see is a circumference of the base of what of the cone. Why here you seen is the truncated part you're seeing here, right? And similarly, why this circle you see here, this shape you see here, is this shape that is cut out when the cylinder is what is penetrating the cone, right? And this is what we have here. And you see, you can see you can easily click the link that is being displayed on the screen to take you to a page whereby you will learn on how i constructed this what the shapes how i constructed the shape how i got the cover intersection and how i also developed the shape you can click on the link that is being displayed on the screen that the arrow is actually what pointing right and you take you to that particular page that you want to watch this particular video you what i just do here is analyzing what this question means when you are told to draw the joints that what they mean here right 
So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and also comment if you have any question you want to ask. Thanks for watching.